With more than 8 million species of living things on Earth, no wonder that nobody knows or has seen them all. And if you wanted to look at 8 million pictures of all the cool and unusual animals roaming the Earth, it would take around 8 years or more if you'd spend 20 seconds for each photo and would do it non-stop, without any breaks for eating or sleeping. Across the globe, you'll find unique animals that exhibit truly remarkable and bizarre features and behaviors. From a frog that shows off its organs to a monkey that has a mustache that is named after German emperor among other. A weird-looking animal called Shubil. Why, yes. After seeing these unusual animals, you'll be amazed that these sometimes very unsightly beings inhabit the same planet as us. Before you get started, make sure you like this video by giving it a thumbs up. Share with your friends and subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notified when a new video is uploaded. Mish Facts TV has prepared for you a selection of 12 unusual animal that you have probably never heard, let alone, ever met. Here are 12 unusual animals in the world to add to your travel bucket list now. Number 1. Emperor Tamarins. Emperor Tamarins are native to the southwest Amazon basin, with a range that crosses Peru, Brazil and Bolivia. They live in a variety of wooded habitats, including lowland, mountain and seasonal flooded forests. They are small monkeys with long, white whiskers that sweep back from the muzzle on both sides and look like mustaches. It is believed that they were named after German Emperor Wilhelm II, who also wore a mustache. They have dark fur on their faces and ears, and their bodies are primarily gray with small amounts of gold, white and red. Their tails are long and red. Like all tamarins, emperor tamarins have narrow hands with non-opposable thumbs. They have long canine teeth and claws, rather than nails, on all digits except for the big toe. These tamarins are omnivorous. They primarily eat fruit but may also feed on insects, gum, nectar and leaves. Number 2. Mangalitsa pig. It's a sheep. It's a pig. Wait, what is that? It's Mangalitsa pig. It is an autochthonous fatty-type pig breed, created from the old Serbian Sumatinka breed. During the 19th century, pigs were the main export product of Serbia, especially in the northern part of the country. This old-world breed pig is indigenous to Hungary and its name means, hog with a lot of lard. Not only does the Mangalica pig have a lot of lard, it has a lot of curly hair which makes it resemble a sheep. The fleece can be black, or red, but is most commonly blonde. The Mangalica is the last pig in existence to sport this unusual fleece. And it was nearly lost to extinction by the 1990s, when fewer than 200 pigs remained in Hungary. Number 3. Highland Cow. Eye-catching red hair, a trendy fringe, large curved horns, there's no denying Scotland's Highland cows are a sight to behold. Like their name suggests, Highland cattle originated in the highlands and west coastal islands of Scotland, areas severe in climate and lashed by the North Atlantic gales. Throughout the long recorded history of highlands, breeders have taken great care to retain the original characteristics of these cattle. The highland has the grandest head with a long fringe that appears to cover the eyes and the horns that are long and darkened towards the tip. It is these features that make them most memorable. Ordinary cattle need the warmth of sheltered barns to protect them from the harsh winters. Whereas highland cows are happy to embrace the cold and are often kept in open shelters made of stone called, folds, at night. You probably wouldn't choose to sleep in an open roof home in Scottish winter. So you can appreciate how tough these cows really are. Number 4. Golden Snub-Nosed Monkey. Snub-Nosed Monkey, also called Snub-Nosed Langer. Any of four species of large and unusual leaf monkeys found in highland forests of central China and northern Vietnam. They have a broad, short face with wide-set slanting eyes and a short, flat nose with forward-facing nostrils. The fur of Sichuan golden snub-nosed monkeys changes throughout the year. In spring, they molt and grow shorter hair for summer, showing a brownish-gray look that blends into dense forests. Then they molt again to give a golden orange coat with longer hair. This blends into the fallen leaves in autumn which are yellow, orange or brown, and also provides warmth in winter. Sichuan golden snub-nosed monkeys are highly social. They form large troops in summer of as many as 600 individuals. In winter, they split into smaller groups with fewer than 40 members. Sichuan golden snub-nosed monkeys are losing their habitats to human activities. The forests are cut down for wood or cleared for agriculture and raising livestock. 
Number 5. Coconut Crab. This land crab is the world's largest and feeds on everything from coconuts to small mammals and birds. This crab's name comes from its looks and diet. The brown and green colors of a coconut crab's shell help it blend in when it climbs palm trees to get coconuts to eat. This crab's pincers are strong enough to clip a coconut from the tree stem and crack into the shell. Coconut crabs are hermit crabs that live on land. They can grow to be 3 feet across, nearly 1 and a half feet long, and weigh as much as 9 pounds, making this the largest species of land crab on Earth. Males are generally larger than their female counterparts, but not by much. Juveniles wear mollusk shells for protection until they reach their adult size when they can no longer fit into shells. When they outgrow their shells, they partially tuck their bellies under their bodies and rely on hardened plates on their body for protection. Coconut crabs live in the Indian Ocean and the Central Pacific Ocean, with a distribution that closely matches that of the coconut palm. Number 6. Venezuelan Poodle Moth. It's been compared to a fluffy dog, a Pokémon character and a Power Rangers villain. It has enormous, bulging black eyes. Long, brown, spiky antenna that stick out straight to each side. And a puffy, furry, white body. Put it all together and it becomes a terrifying look for a moth. And certainly, something you wouldn't want to stumble upon flapping around your porch light. This bizarre-looking insect was discovered in Venezuela in 2009. Number 7. Markhor Goat. The Markhor is the largest of the wild goat species, with broad hooves and striking spiral horns that can grow to 5 feet long in mature males. These goats live in herds of 30 to 100 females, which are joined by males during the fall mating season. Markhor is a Persian word meaning, snake eater, or, snake killer. Which may refer to its spiral horns or how it easily kills snakes by stepping on them with its wide hooves. The Markhor is native to the mountains of the Hindu Kush and are one of the most striking goat species because of their long spiral horns. In adult males, these can reach up to 1.6 meters long and in females up to 25 centimeters. Number 8. Blue-Footed Booby. Blue-Footed Boobies are aptly named, and males take great pride in their fabulous feet. During mating rituals, male birds show off their feet to prospective mates with a high-stepping strut. The bluer the feet, the more attractive the mate. The blue-footed booby occurs in the Pacific from Southern California to Northern Peru and on the Galapagos Islands. Boobies' bills are long, their bodies cigar-shaped, and their wings long, narrow, and angular. They fly high above the ocean looking for schools of fish and squid. When prey is sighted, they plunge headlong into the water in a swift, vertical drop. Blue-footed boobies are known for their courtship behaviors, where males dance very specific movements to attract females. Once a female selects a male, the pair remains monogamous for at least that breeding season. After mating, clutches of two to three eggs are laid directly on the ground, and both parents take turns incubating the eggs. Several breeding pairs nest together, forming very large breeding colonies. After hatching, both parents continue to care for the chicks, so they must make daily feeding trips during that time. This likely contributes to the nesting sites being close to feeding areas. The first chick to emerge gets most of the parent's attention and is often the only chick to survive. Number 9. Shoebill. You probably wouldn't win a staring contest with it, though you'd be hard-pressed to look away. Taller than a mailbox, with an 8-foot wingspan, the shoebill is quite a kick to observe. One of the most terrifying bird in the world. It is literally the most frightening bird on Earth. What a name to give this bird, of all the possible names. I think this bird should have named Monster Face. I wouldn't want to go anywhere near these birds, but humans don't have to worry, they are after smaller prey. But only slightly smaller. They eat big fish like lungfish, eels, and catfish, and also crazy stuff like Nile monitor lizards, snakes, and baby crocodiles. This bird eats crocodiles. Yes, you better believe it. Shoebills defend their favorite feeding areas from conspecifics, eating alone is a way of life. They may start feeding when the sun comes up, but they don't dine in earnest until after 11 a.m. in a pinch or during incubation time. A shoebill can survive for over four days without food. Oh, and it's a musical instrument. Shoebills perform bill clapping to drive away interlopers and woo mates. Males and females have different tones to their clapping. Found in nine countries across Africa the species has a large range. 
but exists in small localized populations concentrated around swamps and wetlands. Individuals are highly solitary, often the male and female in a breeding pair prefer to occupy different ends of their shared territory. Number 10. Stick Insect. As its name suggests, the stick insect resembles the twigs among which it lives, providing it with one of the most efficient natural camouflages on Earth. The stick-like trickster uses its appearance to protect itself from enemies so it doesn't end up in, well, a sticky situation. Stick insects, also known as walking sticks, live in tropical and temperate or mild forests all over the world. Related to grasshoppers, crickets, and mantises, these creepy crawlies are usually brown, green, or black. They're also the world's longest insects. The largest one ever found stretched 22 inches with its legs extended. Most are only up to 12 inches long. Walking sticks are found on every continent except Antarctica. They mostly live in temperate and tropical regions. Within these areas, the stick insect usually inhabits woodlands and tropical forests, where it hides on trees in plain sight. Walking sticks are a favorite food of many animals, but perhaps their most effective predators are bats. Most bats hunt by echolocation rather than sight, so they aren't fooled by the insect's stick-like appearance. All stick insects are herbivores. They use their strong mandibles to consume leaves, the primary food in their diet. Walking sticks are one of many species that can reproduce parthenogenetically. Meaning the females can produce unfertilized eggs that hatch and grow into new females. Females lay eggs that look like seeds, and they have numerous egg-laying mechanisms to keep predators away. Number 11. Glass Frog. A small frog the length of a quarter leaps from one plant leaf to another, flaunting its little belly as it soars. The skin on the frog's underside is see-through. So as the amphibian jumps you can view some of its internal organs, including its beating heart. This is a reticulated glass frog, a creature that has a lot of super cool secrets to reveal. This small frog belongs to the family Centralinidae which includes several species. This lime-colored amphibian lives in Central America and the Amazon, in tropical forests. The frog's translucency is a type of camouflage, in which the edge of an animal blends with the relative brightness or darkness of its surroundings. This phenomenon, called edge diffusion, softens the line separating the color of a frog's skin from the color of its background. Not all species have a translucent underside. Like many males in the animal kingdom, the frog males take advantage to seduce a madam frog during the mating season. In frogs, the potential for seduction lies in croaking, a melodious cry that will not leave the female indifferent. In order to conquer their suite, the males not only compete in vocalizations but also do not hesitate to compete for the best egg-laying sites with claws. Thanks to the bone spines present on their front pastes. Number 12. Axolotl. The axolotl salamander has the rare trait of retaining its larval features throughout its adult life. This condition, called neoteny, means it keeps its tadpole-like dorsal fin, which runs almost the length of its body and its feathery external gills, which protrude from the back of its wide head. Unlike other salamander species, these animals are neotenic, meaning they keep juvenile characteristics into adulthood. The axolotl remains aquatic, like larva, their entire life. Though it develops functional lungs, it uses its fancy, feathery gills to breathe underwater. Like youngsters, they retain external gills, a tail, and a body fin, and lack movable eyelids. The axolotl is a lentic species, meaning it inhabits still water lakes. They occur in only two, Mexico's Lake Xochimilco and Lake Chalco. Where they are critically endangered due to pollution, habitat degradation, and water diversion from an ever-growing human population. There you have it 12 unusual animals in the world. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy this video. Please leave your comment, subscribe, like and share this video.